We're here at the uh, proposed site for our Wine Science Center on the Washington State University Tri-Cities campus. On this site we have the opportunity to build a three-story building uh, that uh, offers us in-ground insulation for uh, temperature controlled wine making facility and storage rooms. Uh, with the elevation difference that we have here we can build in a um, gravity flow winery using just uh, the three different levels, floor levels, to move the grapes and then the wine. Um, and um, we will have uh, classrooms and research laboratories for our scientists in here. Well, our research focus is uh, sustainability and wine flavor, wine quality. Uh, this center here will focus on, on the wine quality aspect, understanding what are the flavors that make Washington State wines unique. Um, how do we uh, manage them? How do we impact them with different uh, vineyard uh, management techniques, different growing environments, uh, winemaking techniques, uh, wine aging, so that we can make wines which are more consistently and unique Washington and of uh, consistent high quality. Um, the Wine Science Center here really comes out of a research needs uh, plan that the industry developed in 2006 uh, to 2008. And uh, we reviewed that in 2009 and um, found uh, with the question of what are we lacking, what are we currently doing. And one of the needs that came out of that is the facilities uh, for space and dedicated research um, infrastructure so we can do the research the industry needs. Um, in order to be competitive in the world, this industry needs to know more about the growing practices and the winemaking practices in general. And this research plan that I mentioned has a lot of detail uh, of what's needed. Uh, it's a very clear roadmap for us. Having the Wine Science Center here in the Tri-Cities, the uh, first big advantage, of course, is we're in the middle of the major wine and grape producing area in Washington State. So being right where the industry is is important for us because we work very closely with this industry. Our students can do research projects in commercial vineyards and wineries um, at, right nearby. Um, of course, this work here will attract international collaborators um, and visitors to the Tri-Cities area and to this campus. So it will uh, also very positively affect uh, the research here in this area. One thing that this site and this location will offer us is uh, we have our research, we will be able to locate uh, several research faculty here and we'll be also doing our undergraduate teaching on this campus. So combining the research and the teaching in one place of course helps us to deliver a better teaching program for our students and um, give the students access to our researchers. They can do summer projects and of course go on in graduate studies. Um, Co-locating is just a great advantage for us. I never met uh, Dr. Clore, unfortunately, uh, and I also didn't meet uh, Dr. Chas Nagel, the two fathers of the Washington wine industry. Uh, I wish they could see our plans today. They would be uh, delighted about this. They work together very effectively over quite some distance Floor being located in, in Prosser, half an hour from here, and Jas Nagel was up in Pullman, two, two and a half hours from here. Uh, and of course, they had to work with that separation, with that distance. If they could work here together in one facility, uh, right in the middle of the wine industry, they would be delighted, I'm sure. Um, and we're, we're proud to be able to continue their work. Um, it has grown from two faculty to over 30 faculty that are now working in one or the other aspect of research, teaching and extension for the wine industry.